Hey Vault Hunter, Stud Doogie here with another video for you guys. Um, in this video, I want to kind of sort of have a conversation about what Endgame is in the Borderlands context. Now, I think the sort of pure technical definition of Endgame is whatever you want it to be for you. That's what Endgame is. Whatever you enjoy doing repeatedly um, and you have fun doing over and over again, be that farming, mobbing, be that the raid, whatever it is, uh, Endgame, from my perspective, simply technically means the thing that you do after the story is over that you enjoy doing. Uh, but I've been playing the Borderlands series for oh, quite some time now, since the very beginning. And Borderlands 3 is kind of different for me. It's, it's, it's the best endgame Borderlands I've ever played. Uh, I've been playing video games for a long time. And video games generally fall into two categories for me. Um, basically, I play it. I play a lot of adventure games. My two main category of games before I started playing Borderlands, which was really the first first-person shooter I really got into, was adventure games and fighting games like Street Fighter, um, Tekken, Virtua Fighter, those types of games. Um, before I get continue with my conversation, let me do my build. And this is about Endgame. This, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm going to be... Um, showcasing the devil's foursome and the reason why i'm thinking about it in end game context is because when i first got this gun i took it into the slaughter shaft and it sucked i hated it i'm like this gun is a piece of crap i can't crit for shit this is just not what i'm into and fortunately i've been on this thing about keeping all the legendaries that i find you know just so as long as they're unique so i don't have like a shit ton of duplicates but i have one of each kind that I find and um, so now we're many months later in the game's life cycle and what I've realized is unlike the previous Borderlands where you had a build and you had a gun or guns that dealt with everything in Borderlands 3 you don't need a gun that's viable everywhere it just needs to be viable somewhere and Though it was not very performant in the Slaughter Shaft, it's going to kick some ass in the Cistern of Slaughter, I'm sure. And I'm basing that on how well the uh, the Scoville worked. And then this is, you know, another splash damage gun. And splash damage guns work really, really well against creatures because there are not any triple bars. Crits aren't the primary thing you need to do, you know? So, you know, that's what Endgame is for me. Endgame is playing with these weapons, coming up with bills to make them perform well, right? Because as you guys should probably notice by now, I don't have one build to rule them all. I have a build for each gaming session or play session I'm dealing with based upon the gear that I have. All right, so let's just get this out of the way. So we're going to use a similar build as we did for the Scoville. Um, I'm going to give it four because I really don't know how powerful it is um, put some here definitely need at least two um, this is a multi pellet weapon and the base damage is pretty good so even if we added another pellet it would be pretty good but it's fire rate is really really slow so that's what I'm gonna optimize for I'm gonna optimize for fire rate because I think that's going to give me better DPS than playing Dirty Will. I'm just going to drop one point here. You know, I'm going to go this this direction this time. Just to mix it up. Uh, it's going to be a clone drone build. Uh, I, I'm i trying to get used to old you. I'm trying to. Ah, screw old you. I'm not going to change now. 
I am who I am, and that's all that I am. Okay, so, yep. All right. In case, so, of course, violent momentum, because we're going to be skipping and jumping, so we want the extra damage, movement speed, so we can get more damage, and we can dodge projectiles from enemies. Um, reload speed, of course. We need drone delivery for our anointment. This is for healing. Death follows close pretty much always. Like I just explained, violent violence for fire rate because I think it's going to be a better DPS option over playing dirty because this the fire rate is so slow as is. So by improving that dramatically, we should definitely have better DPS. Uh, this is going to be our primary. This is for... Um, armored targets and this is for Rex I am instead of I'm changing it up a bit normally I would go with the dictator but I'm going to use the scourge for Rex because I have the uh, no, I don't want that anointment I want the swap anointment because I am going to be using the clone might as well take advantage of that and you know you guys know everything else okay here we go so like I was saying games fell into two categories you had adventure games and fighting games and what made the category for adventure games basically meant once I beat the game that was it that was the end you know it went back in the <coughs> box or on the shelf or whatever um, and then Borderlands was the first game that I thought I pushed the button oh I didn't activate the stupid <coughs> mission I'm such an idiot um, was the first game I played where it just went on for years, you know, I would beat it and beat it and beat it, and the first one was really more about the story, and I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. Borderlands 1, you know, Borderlands 2 is in a, they're in this neck and neck competition for what made me laugh the most. You know, there wasn't as much content in Borderlands 1 in terms of a script and you know, lines and stuff, but what was there was just so damn good. And, um, so Borderlands, you got a job. I played that for years too. I played it on console, I played it on PC, and the end game there for me was mobbing still. I had Gib, and I would try out different weapons. With Borderlands 3, I have no desire for Gib. You know what I mean? Like, I... There's just so many guns in this game. You know, it's just so much content. You've got Circle of Slaughter. You've got Sister of Slaughter. You've got the Raid. You've just got all this stuff where a gun might just used in one type of activity. It doesn't have to be, you know, like the Harold where you use it, the unkept Harold and the lens to everywhere. Let's blow that up. You know, you use the Unkim Harold and Borderlands 2 pretty much everywhere. And the Grog nozzle, you know? I call this or B hawking. So no matter what you were doing, you be hawked. But in Borderlands 3, you don't have to do any of that. This devil's horsem that is shit inside um, slaughter shaft is beastly here. I mean, it's you know it's not as good as the scoble, but it sure as hell is effective. It's not. Look at that. That's that's pretty sweet. All right. So that's what endgame is. Endgame is you, you take this gear. Where the hell is this thing? Take this guns and these items, the shields and the comms and all of this, and you take it for a spin anywhere you want. You take it in the story, story playthroughs, side missions, you name it. You take it there and you have a good time with it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You know, Endgame is not a particular DLC or anything else. It's whatever the hell you want. And I hope you're smart enough to get some of this gear and mix and match and just, you know, do some good shit and have fun. 
Like, that's rule number one. That's why I play video games. I do it for fun. I like a challenge because challenging things are fun to me. Why did he turn the other way? And uh, this is fun. I just shot that wall like an idiot. My momentum threw me off. Is he stuck? Let me blow him up now because he's going to automatically blow up. I think they come out of here this time. As you can see, I'm, I'm getting much better with my key binding and selecting my weapon. Hope you guys are proud of me. Not any more for the meat grinder. So yeah, the Scoville, compared to the Devil's Forsman, the Scoville has a much higher uh, area effect damage radius. So this is a safer gun in terms of not blowing yourself up. But, you know, it's not as damaging as the Scoville, but it's still effective. You still have to get the range. I'm still working out what the exact range is for maximizing, you know, the four or the, the three rounds coming together on a target. But that's going to take practice. But so far, so good. I mean, the first two rounds don't really tell you anything. It's not until we start getting some badasses like this. Dude. Alright, let's get the uh, let's get this bad boy out. Let's see how it strips that shit. Not as effective as I like, but whatever. I'm not gonna come to me. We'll beat him out, he's in danger, he's in danger. I like keeping him active, I like keeping him alive so that I can keep my uh, Synchronicity going. Make sure I have bullets. He does the aggro thing. So, you know, that's how I'm enjoying the, the clone. Because I, I'm not really a fan of the clone. I'm really a, a barrier drone type of guy. But again, I'm. This is endgame, so I'm encouraged to mix shit up. Can I get him out in time? Nope. Let me get this badass. Get his armor off in case I need to use it for a second and it could be easy to, to deal with. Okay. Oh, this is good. I wanted to... I wanted to have low health to see if I had enough healing. I guess I'll see it on the replay video later. Put it in the sock. Switch it up and come in and get these shields stripped. As the shield breaks, I'm gonna back him out. Okay, back him out. And then get to work. Oh, these guys should. Ah! I thought I jumped away. I was pinned against them for some reason. Old you, old you. No, he's dead. No, I did say screw old you. Crap. That's what happens when you don't screw old you. you get him out of the game. Let's get these shields stripped. So it takes more than one clip to strip shield, which is not a good look for a pistol. Yeah, it's definitely not as powerful. It doesn't hit as hard as the Scoville, but it still hits pretty good hard. And its fire rate is not as high as the Scoville. I'm rethinking my decision because yeah the fire rate is better but it's not dramatically better I might have been better off uh, with playing dirty you know what let's do that let's let's go check that out let's go check that out we clear this round and then make the adjustment and see how it plays out. Because this is what endgame is. Trying this stuff out. And if you're not into that, well I understand. You don't have to watch my videos. I make these mostly for me. 
and like the three people that uh that like my videos. So as long as we're happy, that's really the only thing that matters. Because again, gaming is supposed to be for fun. This is not my business model. Um, this is my leisure activity. It's not my job. Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna get this guy. Alright, let's do the go. This is why I got them so I could chase them down. It's working as planned. It's working as planned, y'all. Take her one legendary and let's go respec and see what difference it makes. Okay. Do I have the right common? Oh man. Oh, I want one with three Go on. and Don't hold playing back. dirty. Please tell me I didn't put it on my mule. No, cold warrior. Alright. Two and playing dirty, I meant. So the, the damage is going to be individual pellet damage is going to be less but I'll have yeah playing dirty maxed out one point in this of course and then wait that'll work what am I saying all right here we go Ta -ta -ta. I'm gonna spend a point in old you I need to get used to old you Old Yuge is, is not my playstyle. I'm so used to getting second wins, you know, from all the w previous Borderlands games. The idea of not getting a second win that way just throws my brain into chaos. All right. Let us take ourselves back to Promethea. So this video is going to be long because of all of this, but, you know, you watch it or you don't. It's on you. And we're going to have the uh, cooldown stacking glitch, so we'll just quickly save quit, make sure we reset that so we're not dealing with that, so we can get a realistic assessment of the effectiveness of this sniper rifle damage. Great, because I love wearing my sniper rifle. Alright, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it performs. I'm ready, Mr. Torque. I'm so freaking ready for the pandemic. Can you see the fourth shot? I can't see the fourth shot. It must be there, though. Let's see. I do have... Alright, let's see if we can't see the extra pellet. One, two, three. Where the hell's the fourth pellet? Huh. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with a it seems like it's hitting harder. 
it's okay. It's definitely hitting harder. Let's get him over here because this is where they're gonna spawn. Put him right here. And you got pissed on. So this, yeah, the fire rate is definitely less. Um, but I'm kind of digging it. I gotta be more patient with my shots. I can't just spam it. It's possible you picked the wrong battle. I love the fact I can kill these guys in the air with this thing. I don't quite have the, the range perfected yet, but I'm gonna get there. Whoa, what was that? I I can't believe my uh, my drone did that for me. My drone is badass. My drone got me a second win. This is pretty effective against Rax. I didn't expect that. Let's build these things up so we don't suffer the consequences later. Yeah, it's hitting harder. I, I just don't need to spam now. I just have to be more patient and control with my shots like that. You know, I, I like those kind of adjustments. Let's get him in here. I think this is really gonna nope, didn't get here in time. Oh, I don't know why they make it so freaking slow with the resets between the waves. Yeah, it's definitely hitting harder. End of the road for you. Right, let's get him out. I'm gonna get the badass low and then I'm gonna leave him alive. Uh, I didn't want him to die. I was standing in the amp. Screw this one, two, three. Now I need one, two. Here we go, two. So let's get these guys done and over with. Not more where that came from. Anything else flying? <laughs> nope. Let's get him out of there. Get him out of the goo. End of round one. Oh, he's going to blow up, so I might as well do it myself. Oh, come on. I can't believe the range is that freaking huge. I think they spawn back here this time. Yep, they do. All right, let's set him. What was that? Let's set him up. See, I can shoot closer than before, even though that wasn't a good example. Where are you going with that tire? Put that shit down, you silly, you silly monkey. You silly monkey. That hit nothing. That was all air. That got a piece of it. Put that down, put that down. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Yeah, it's it's doing work, no question about that. Just focus this one guy. Okay. I guess when you hit all the shots, uh, it strips the shield rather well. Let me get him out of the suck. Normally when dogs make that sound, I feel sorry for them. I don't feel that way about Skags. Am I too far away? Yeah, I was. I was dodging my shit. Dodging my stuff. This is mostly, look at it. Alright, let's get him dead. Get some amp going. His health is looking good. Let him get up there. Do some pissing. Badass is dead. Let's get over here and finish these guys off. Get some distance. Let's put him in the suck as soon as he gets here. Do 
two seconds. And drop them off. I'm here, boys. I can't believe I killed myself by the freaking pole. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's in danger. What was that? I'm not worried about my second wins. Uh, we have a lot of flying enemies. There's a lot going on right now. Let me put him in a safe spot if I can. Man, he was getting jumped by the badasses. Badasses rolling packs. They're like a freaking gang. I wonder if they're blood or crypts. Get that out there. I need to get some shooting going. You're dead. Thank you for my second name. They are not fucking around. They are serious. This is definitely not a scope, but you know what? We don't care. Let's find a safe spot for him. Alright, let's get back into it. Put him in the sock. Get some piss action going. Get him out. Yeah, three was the right choice for the healing. Look at these amp circles stacked upon each other. I wonder if they stack in terms of damage. I'm gonna have to watch the footage later. Open your bloody eyes! Create some space for him. Yeah, so it doesn't hit as hard as a Scoville, but it's still effective. If he would stop getting hanging out by the bus so that the sh all the shots can hit him. Let's get to where he is. So we can take advantage of the fact that he's pissed on him. Get him in a safe spot. We have our prismatic. You're not even switching elemental types, we're just gonna get this guy murdered. Right. You can't mess around too much, one, two. Need to get this prismatic dead, otherwise we're gonna be dead. Because we don't wanna be uh have him the only thing left to fight. Oh shit. Alright. There's one more. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. I think they come from this side now. They do. Just put him in the Put him in the sun. This is working really, really great on the uh, spider ants. Usually when you shoot spider ants in the face, they ricochet you around right back on top of you. But because of the, sh the firing pattern of this gun, that's not happening. It's like it's going around their shells and hitting them in the butt or something like that. Ooh, let's get this guy dead before he fucks us up. The most dangerous one here. Okay, he's dead. What was that bullshit? Let's get him out of there. Yeah, the, nothing's being reflected at me, so that's a net positive with this gun. Shoot and swap. That's some good shooting on my part. Damn good shooting, dude. Thank you, Judy. You say the nicest things. Got the piss on him. My drone pissed all over him. Get him out of the suck. They all got pissed on. 
Yep, 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 definitely working. Like I said, when I first used this gun, man, I was like, this is a piece of shit. But it has its niche, you know, we just have to find it. I don't know if this, that's true of every gun in this game, but I'm going to have fun finding out. That's my end game. My end game is this. Cool guns blowing shit up. We are clearing this thing really, really fast. So anyway, let me know what's the end game for you. I am, I am curious if, if I'm standing here like an idiot with an idea that no one else shares. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, being an original. But I am curious. Because there's more content coming, so it's not as if this is all there is. You know, we've got at least like three more DLCs. A couple more takedown type things. I think they're coming over this side now. I'm trying to start memorizing where this is. Yes, look at me. With my old man memory. Oh, he got fucked up. Let's get him out of there. I want to get the badass shield strip. My priority. Alright. These damn barrels! Crap, I did not mean to push the button. Ooh, old you. Oh, it doesn't work. I swear to God. That's bullshit. This is this is why I don't do old you, y'all. Because I pressed the button to do the old you thing, and it didn't actually do it. I hate old you. Piece of shit seal. You know, I'm a, I'm a Borderlands OG. I'm gonna get my second one by shit shit in the face. Fuck old you. I really hate rats because sometimes they just disappear into the environment and you can't see them. You got a death wish. Let's try a sliding shot. See how that works. I don't know if it did anything. Let's get him out of the danger zone. Get out of my circle of death. I really need to figure out if this thing stacks. Because that would be really, really cool. Alright, he just pissed on all of them. Let's utilize that to our advantage. He still has his shield up, so we don't have to worry about him right now. You're still alive? I thought I'd murdered you. He's got that nice glowing glow of piss funk. Why does it take so long, game? Oh, it was a good shot, it doesn't do any damage. Let's get him up in here. Playing with these guys. I hate it when they hide around this tree because the bullet hits the tree sometimes. Or this bus thing, whatever the hell it is. I think it's on this side. Nope. Let's get him over here. Well, they got pissed on. I got like three more seconds to get my shot in. Got it. He's in some goo. Let's get him out. Yeah, it's definitely hitting harder. With, um... Uh, Playing dirty. Yeah. Oops, wrong button. I'm still getting used to it. I'm gonna stand in the double amp. Who 
Who the hell was that? Is it? I think it's this time. It's gonna be over here for sure. For sure? For reals? Oh my god! Let's get him out. Let me beat this badass. Handle. I don't want him to pot up. If he pots up and then hatches, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Create some space before I shoot this thing. I live for this! Somebody got pissed off. You can teleport all you want. I get two shits. So the Scoville definitely does more damage, but I think if you don't have the Scoville, this is probably going to be an easier drop to get in terms of world drops. And, uh, oh, let's get him out of danger. Put him up here. Until his shield comes back, then I'll put him back in the suck. He can do some piss work right now. Flying around. Right, let's back them up a little bit. Leave those guys so I can get second wins off of them. See if I can't take care of this rack, who's playing footsie. Alright, fine. Have that and that. I'm standing in the amp. You're still alive? Not anymore. What the Happy now. fudge? Alright. Is that it for the flying things? Nope. We have an engorged rack. Making moves. Juking. And dodging. Where the hell did he go? No, no, don't get me killed, you son of a bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Alright. Goodbye. That was a beautiful shot. Y'all gotta admit that. You have to. If you don't, you're in denial. You're deluded and in denial. The two Ds. Uh, I don't know. Cistern. Alright. The shield's already broken. Let's go that. Autopilot! Autopilot! Shield's back. Let's put him in the suck. Put him in the suck. Oof. That looked painful. Oh. Sucks to be you. Get him out there. Get some space. Wow. That amp damage, that double amp damage is Donkeyless. Who's next? Who wants some of this? Why does it take so long, Gearbox? Why? Gearbox? Why? That was a complete waste of a shot, but whatever. We have plenty of bullets. As a matter of fact, we have infinite ammo. So we get two shits. Let's get him out of that. But not literally. And when they get pissed on, they just get destroyed. with the drone pissing and the clone pissing, it's just a whole lot of hurting going on. 
get him out of the fire. I mean, he can't feel it. But I'm a nice guy. You know, I care. That's who I am. Instead, dude, he cares. And I had that shot. Hold still. What the hell is he made of? Adamantium? Where to next? Where to next? Let's swap, get him to throw some piss. And buff our damage. All of y'all get fucked up. All those bodies get destroyed. Those red dots just disappearing. Let's get him out a little bit. Create some space. I see the armor, but I don't care. Because they got pissed on, so... I'm not gonna survive. Shoot and swap. I thought you were alive. Had me nervous for a second. Let's broken. Let's back him up. It's a amp shot. It's a badass. All right, fine. I'll do some elemental magic for a badass. Back him up a little bit. Ah, oh, he jumped in it and exploded it in my face. I guess I should respect that. The suicidal tendencies. I see a badass. Really? Here he is. Put him in the sock. Y'all don't stand a chance. You know, I was trying to be nice about it. Keep that fact to myself. Be a gentleman. About how awesome I am. But I just can't hold it in. I'm just that good. I'm using like a B tier weapon to kick out his asses. Let me get him out before he dies. Just a little bit more, I'm gonna back him up a little bit more. For the suicidal let's get him. Create some space so I can get to them before they get to us. That guy chase you down and shoot you. Oh, no, I didn't kill him. So I can't brag about that. I can't brag about almost killing him. I can only brag about killing him. You know? The boss should be coming up here pretty darn soon. Just put him up in the side. Get these guys. The shield is broken. Let's back them out. Alright. We keep spawning out of here. Hey, funky monkey. Hey, funky monkey. We got flying enemies. You know what to do. We know what to do. We're not even gonna fuck around with these racks. We're gonna put some hurt on them. You got a death wish! We still have more flying. We're gonna ignore the mini boss for now. And 
just deal with. Tell the Reaper he still owes me a fiver. Plus the boss is probably gonna die. Plus the Scourge, the Scourge doesn't kill. The Scourge just kills everything. Scourge is not as specious, you know? Alright, I think that's it for all the flying enemies. Oh, badass prismatic rag still here. Where is he now? Alright, I think we're rid of him. Let's get back to business as usual, clean up the ground crew. Swap out of that. They thought they had me. Like this idiot just jumped right into our laps. No, I didn't. I set you up. I used your teacher again. Now you're gonna die. Look at that. That was a beautiful shot. Can I get him? I think I can get him. Ah, oh, screw him. Two. Let's swap him out. Get out of the area so we don't get. Killed by our own rocket. Right, Swap it out again. There's one over here. He's too close to the wall, so we're not going to get a lot of damage on him. We got a rat spear. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. I got this as a successful operation. I got to admit, this this volt voltaic rat got some. Mad dodging skills. Wow, look at the steady. All right, Let's see if I can't get a good beat on him. A lot of ammo. Great. Boss is here. Let's go get him. Seems stuck. His problem, not mine. Boost our damage a little bit. Nice swapping. Let's boost it again. It works. But the whole damage boosting thing is a thing. Let's put him somewhere safe, out of danger for a little bit. I don't know if I can't focus this the rack. Keeps dodging every freaking thing. Reload, 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 reload. Get him, Scorch! Where is he? I can't see him. I do not see the stupid rat. Is he dead? Must be. Yep, he's dead. Alright. Let's do this. Let's finish this up. Bring it in to the fun. We're almost done. Don't forget to tip your waiters and waitresses. Ah, I thought it was going to be like a airborne one shot. It was an almost kill. So. The Devil's Foursome can put in work. Definitely not an S tier weapon. Probably B plus, close to A tier weapon. Uh, good for creatures. Not fantastic for triple bar enemies because it's a splash damage gun, so you're not going to get any crits, or at least not consistently. Uh, we'll take another look at it. And, you know, that's what I'm going to be doing with my videos in the coming days and weeks is to play with these guns you know this game says it has billions of guns and and hundreds of legendary so it's and we're going to be using zane to see if we can't make this stuff work and be effective find the place where the gun can be effective instead of bitching about all the places that it's not so that's my take on endgame and uh i'd be interested to hear yours i'd like to thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next one laters